Now let's talk about the Configure SharePoint utility, which is really the beginnings of the meat and potatoes for SharePoint protection in DPM 2010. There are two instances in which you must run the Configure SharePoint utility. First, when you initially begin to protect a new SharePoint farm, or when you begin to protect an existing SharePoint farm for the first time with Data Protection Manager 2010. Second, is when you change the SharePoint Farm Administrator account or password. Some organizations do have password policies even for service accounts. If you're one of those, make sure that you keep in mind that every time you change the account or the password that you use for your SharePoint Farm, you're going to have to run this utility again. This utility is located in the bin folder on both the Data Protection Manager server and when you install an agent to, share, to configure SharePoint utility is installed along with it. You must be a member of the administrators group on the local computer in order to run this tool, and you have to run this tool from an elevated command prompt. That way you have the administrator rights that you need in order to be able to run the tool. I will now want to show you why the Configure SharePoint utility is so important. I'm going to go over to the Global Mantics Data Protection Manager server console, and we're going to take a look at the SharePoint server to which I've already installed the DPM agent. We're not going to go over the installation of the agent itself on the SharePoint server because we've done that a number of times in this course already. So I'm going to go over to the DPM console and we're going to continue from there. Now as you can see I'm already at the screen where we would create a new protection group. In other places in Data Protection Manager, for example, when we went to protect Exchange workloads, when we went to protect SQL-based workloads, as soon as we installed the agent on the endpoint, an Exchange endpoint or a SQL endpoint, Data Protection Manager knew that Exchange or SQL was installed on one of those endpoints or on each of those endpoints. But take a look at what happens when we move to SharePoint 2010. It doesn't see the SharePoint instance. However, if I were to expand GM SQL, it's going to see the SQL instance. And there's a good reason for that. We didn't have to take additional steps in Exchange or SQL in order for it to be able to see the fact that it was an Exchange or SQL server. However, with SharePoint, Data Protection Manager does insist that you run that Configure SharePoint utility, at which point it'll then show up here in the console as an available protection item. The first parameter that we're going to discuss in Configure SharePoint is the Enable SharePoint Protection parameter. This enables overall protection of the SharePoint farm. You have to run this parameter once on one web front end server. There's no need to run this command on every SharePoint web front end. In fact, you shouldn't because it can create problems for SharePoint protection. What this process actually does is it enables the SharePoint VSS writer, which is used to handle data protection manager based protection. We've talked about VSS in this course already. So what you need to understand is that the configure SharePoint utility enables a VSS based SharePoint protection item that you need to have in place in order to protect SharePoint. This command will ask you for a username and password. You must use a farm administrator account, not your domain administrator account, unless you're also using that for the farm account, which you shouldn't do. And one major change from Data Protection Manager 2007 is that the farm administrator account does not need to be added to the local administrators group before you run Configure SharePoint. So for those of you that are coming from a Data Protection Manager 2007 installation, bear that in mind that this is one change in Data Protection Manager 2010, which really does sort of streamline the installation process just a little bit. If you're using the SharePoint search feature, you also have to use the Configure SharePoint utility to enable SP search protection. This will enable SharePoint's search protection to be protected with Data Protection Manager. Again, you have to run this once. You run it on one of your search servers, and this enables the SharePoint VSS writer again for SharePoint search. And again, you have to be, use a farm administrator account, which does not have to be added to a local administrators group. So it's very similar to the previous command, except it protects the different SharePoint components. We're now going to go over to Global Mantic SharePoint Server, and we're going to run both of these commands to enable both SharePoint protection and SharePoint search protection for protection by Data Protection Manager 2010.
And here we are over on the Global Mantics SharePoint server. And as you can see, I've already opened up a, a command prompt with administrator privileges, and I've browsed the C colon program files, Microsoft Data Protection Manager, DPM bin. And here I'm gonna type configure SharePoint. That should enable SharePoint. Now I'm going to be asked to enter a username for WSS command. Let's wrapper. Here I'm going to do global man six. And it's going to be my SharePoint farm account. Remember, it's got to be the farm account. And you should use this account notation when you provide the account name for the configure SharePoint utility. And the password. And there we go. The operation completed successfully, and everything that we got back was a successful message. So, SharePoint protection is now enabled for this particular SharePoint server. Now, let's enable SharePoint search protection. So, I'm just going to go back and use the same command, but I'm going to make a modification to it. And again, I'm going to use the same account notation, which is the name of the domain, backslash SP farm. And it's done. So it's a very quick process. And now what this does is it basically tells Data Protection Manager that this machine is ready for protection by Data Protection Manager. Remember, if I ever change the farm account or I change the farm account password, I have to run this utility again for both SharePoint protection and SharePoint search protection with the new information, whatever, whatever it is, the new account or the new password. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.